Yeah. All right, we are here post-match with Drew Langsam, Aaron Kirschenfeld. Nice match, guys. Nice season. Congratulations. Well, you, <laughs> great win, Aaron. All right, we'll start with Drew. Drew, he came out strong. He's got that nasty forehand. What was it about Aaron's game that proved difficult for you today? Yeah, Aaron, I, I got to hand it to you. You came out playing well. He mixed it up. Slice, to a ton of topspin. Just got me confused. He was good. He was really good. And what was the thought when you, uh, you know, coming into the second set, you, you played better, you, you had a chance to go 5-3 in that second set, you were kind of sticking with him a little better. What was the adjustments you were trying to make? Well, I was trying to get to his backhand because he's got the slice backhand, um, but um, he just, he would run around it. He, he gets to every square inch of that court. Um, and I was trying to get him to the angles, and I couldn't do it. On the blogs, on the blogs, you people were saying your unbelievable victory against Gray Wilson, the semis, might have emotionally depleted you. <laughs> Is there any truth to that? It was a Cinderella run. You could say that. <laughs> and, and, and emotions got me through Gray Wilson. He was good too. Yeah. Um, but but I got to hand it to Aaron. He really he really showed up today and kicked my butt. All right, going over to Mr. Aaron Kirschenfeld. Uh, like Drew said, a lot of variety today. We all know about the big forehand, but it looked like you were mixing in some forehand slices. Uh, what was the game plan coming in? I just try to take it one point at a time, um, stick with the game plan, uh, give it everything I have. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to try to make you say something other than a cliche here. I'll take that as a personal challenge. Um, what did you know about Drew coming in? And if the answer is nothing, how did you adjust? I know, uh, obviously, you get to this level, uh, Drew's going to come out, he's going to be a great competitor, uh, he's going to do his best. Um, so, you know, uh, all I can say is that uh, it was really great to, to stick with the game plan, take it one point at a time, and, and uh, just try to get the win. Um, do you want to mix in any sponsors uh, in your next response? Uh, no, no, I, all I know is that I'm definitely going to go out tonight and drink some Miller Lite. <laughs> All right, uh, Aaron. Uh, it was a great season. Any last thoughts before we uh, before we? Just, just what a great group of competitors uh, we've had out here. 
uh, class acts, everybody. Um, uh, just very, uh, very humbled and proud to, to be at this point and uh, to be playing with these guys out here. I know they gave it their all. And uh, I'm glad to be the, uh, the champion of the losers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, uh, Mr. Ivan Ross is going to present the Bull City Pipe, hereafter to be named the Kirschenfeld Bull Pipe. Congratulations, Aaron. Congratulations. Thank you. You want to hold it up for us? Wow. This is it's beautiful. Yeah. We need some music. That's lovely, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, on a great season, and we hope to see you both next year. Woo.